Joe Zekas and Joe Askins from Yo Chicago. We're in the office of Mark Siegel, who's the president and CEO of the Habitat Company. Mark, uh, thank you for taking the time with us. It's my pleasure. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We're on a beautiful sunny day, and we're looking out over one of Habitat's creations, the East Bank Club, and uh, one of its earlier ones, and one of its later ones, the Kingsbury Plaza. Exactly. Plaza. Exactly. Kingsbury Plaza is our most recent development and is uh, just an extraordinary uh, property uh, and has created uh, a great community for the residents who live there. And uh, really, the most amazing comment that I heard was when our chairman and founder, Dan Levin, said it was the best development he's been a party to in the history wow. of uh, his work, which is quite a statement, as you know. Uh, because he's been responsible for some great ones. Some great ones and a lot as well. We've developed over 17,000 residential units. You're, uh, you mentioned Dan Levin and you're following Dan Levin and Valerie Jarrett, who's now a senior advisor, I think her title is, to Barack Obama. Correct. What, what is that like, stepping into, <laughs> stepping into those shoes? It's uh, quite a challenge. It is quite a challenge. Uh, you know, really, uh, I'm fortunate in that Dan is still one of my partners, uh, and so I continue to get the benefit of uh, his counsel and advice. Uh, Dan will probably, has probably forgotten more about real estate than I'll ever know. Uh, and has left almost anyone alive will yeah, ever know, I think. And has left such a, a lasting impact on... Uh, the, the built environment here in Chicago, which has really changed the entire landscape of the city of Chicago over the years. Uh, and he and Valerie both uh, gave a great deal to the city uh, and uh, really laid out a, a concept of civic engagement and contributions to the community that uh, is very important to what our company brings to the table. And when Dan founded the company, uh, he, he said, no project is only an investment in real estate. It's an investment in the community and the people who live and work there. And that's something that we try to live by at the company every day. Dan's history, if I remember, I tried to look it up online, but I couldn't find it. Uh, my recollection is that Dan was part of a dream team put together by uh, Herb Greenwald. Dan, that, that's right. Dan, Dan did start uh, with him. Uh, and and then, Herb, uh, Herb was uh, Mies van der Rohe's great patron. Right. Here and in Chicago, built the glass houses and... And Dan is also a, uh, a big fan of Mies van der Rohe and we continue to be involved with uh, a number of our communities that are Mies van der Rohe properties. In uh, Detroit, we actually uh, manage a community called the Pavilion Apartments, which uh, is a Mies van der Rohe development in the city of Detroit and uh, one that we're very proud of. And uh, Valerie, I'll just say, uh, in terms of Valerie, um, you know, one of the I, I, I read a quote the other day uh, by Peter Drucker, uh, um, who people consider to be quite the management guru, and and he said um, he was uh, probably the management guru. I like to think so, but I know there are differing opinions. Uh, and uh, Drucker said, uh, management is doing things right, and leadership is doing the right things, and. I like to think that uh, Valerie really set the bar very high for us here at the organization to make sure we're doing the right things. And it's something that I try to make sure we live up to as an organization. But the greatest benefit I have in terms of succeeding, you know, two icons like that is really the team we have here at the, ha at the Habitat Company. I mean, we have got a great group of people who work every single day to develop great communities and provide the best level of service to our residents. And uh, we continue to improve that team every day, but I'm, I'm really just fortunate that I get to work with the people that I get to work with.